What's good in the light game, man? It's your boy Shaq coming at y'all. Hey, with a with a lit video, man. Shout out to my boy Ready No, man. I'ma let y'all know this is not my video. This is Ready No. So I'ma have the original link to his channel down below. But hey, I saw the title of this video and I was like, I gotta react to this. I gotta react to this because my boy should have took notes. My boy, my 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 boy man bun. Shoulda saw this video, man. He shoulda looked at this video before he dropped rap them. It's titled Why Rappers Are Terrified to Diss Eminem. We already know 90% of what's about, what's about to be said in this video, but I wanna see what Reddy No had to say, man. So we finna get into it together. Let's get it. Diss songs that scare rappers from dissing Eminem. He told that Welcome scare to know. Today we're counting some key tracks from Super MC Eminem that prove that when it comes to rap disses, you don't want to mess with him. You don't! Disses are part of the hip-hop culture and a common way through which rappers express themselves and their differences. The industry, however, has its untouchables, the very elite group of artists everyone knows better than to mention ah. in a diss track. Not by unfounded fear but by the assured savagery of the reply that will follow and how damaging the outcome will be on their careers. On top of this list of living rappers is the Shady Records rapper, Eminem. He is no stranger to rap disses and beefs. I did, I ain't. <laughs> Who is that right now? Who is that? Whether through isolated disrespectful mentions or full out battles. Eminem killed them in that, in that 8 mile bro. Eminem killed them boys in 8 mile. Eminem has had his run-ins with almost every notable name in the music industry and beyond. He has taken on some of the scariest diss rappers like Cannabis and Benzino. Destroy Benzino? Did my man say Benzino? Benzino was scary to diss? Like people didn't want to diss Benzino? That's tough. That's tough. So hey, somebody, hey. I don't know how true that is. Ready to know, I don't know how true that is, man. Hold up. Famous pop superstars like Mariah Carey, yes, Lady sir. Gaga, Jessica Simpson, and Britney Spears. Damn, Even Eminem dissing everybody. Like Dick Cheney, Bill Clinton, Sarah Palin, and Donald Trump have all been victims of Eminem's fearless talents. In all this, okay, Eminem Agent never Orange. took an outright L in any battle. On the contrary, his unmatchable rhymes, effortless lyrics and comical clowning of his enemies have played major roles in destroying some musical careers like those of Ja Rule. <laughs> Got your ass, boy! Hey, hey, I knew he was coming! I knew Ja Rule was coming! My boy, hey! <laughs> my boy tried to escape on my last video, man. I'm not having that, bro. I'm not having it. Hold up. Insane Clown Posse, who is that? Hold up. Careers like those of Ja Rule, Insane Clown Posse, Vanilla Ice, and Benzino. Here are five songs. Here are five songs that mark Eminem as a savage at rap beef and have made other rappers not mess with him. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up <coughs> to this video. Number five, the warning. Oh, a Mariah Carey diss. We already the went over that one. and Mariah Carey is one that has had several back and forths with both artists repeatedly going in on each other in what has become a never-ending war of words. <laughs> it allegedly started off with Eminem claiming that he and Mimi were once a couple for a lengthy stretch, a relationship status that Mariah dismissed as Eminem's fantasies. Oh. M being M, he launched a number of shots at the pop superstar, notably with cuts like Superman. Jimmy Crackcorn and Bagpipes from Baghdad touching on his version of the story. Am I too nice? Buy you ice. Bitch, if you hide, wouldn't buy you life. Could you try to be my new wife? What, you Mariah? Fly through twice. Oh, 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 side of the story. The Shady Records boss even played voicemails he said were from Mariah during his anger management tour. So who is that? I love you. <laughs> Got the voicemails! Pull out receipts, baby! Hold up! Get the fuck out of here, man. Don't tell me she's behind one of these doors. Mariah! I told you to stop following me every motherfucking city we go. <laughs> it's only between us now. Things escalated in 2009 when Mariah released a track, Obsessed, that was understood to be clowning Eminem, especially in the music video, even though it didn't do much to smack down that assertion. 
Eminem responded not long after with his release of the acid-tipped Mariah diss track The Warning. The cut features Mariah and hubby Nick Cannon in the rapper's crosshairs, as Marshall Mathers III spits lines about bodily fluids while employing some Mariah samples. <laughs> Sit back, homie, relax. In fact, grab a six pack, kick back while I kick facts. Yeah, Dre, sick track. Ooh. Perfect way to get back. Wanna hear something wick whack? I got the same exact tat that's on Nick's Nick back. back. I'm obsessed now. Oh, geez, that's supposed to be me in the video with the goat teeth. Wow, Mariah didn't expect it to go balls out. Bitch, shut the fuck up while I put all them phone calls out. You made Ooh. it my house when you was wildin' out. Before Nick, when you was on my dick, and give you something to smile about. Mm. Number four, nail Ooh. in the coffin. A Benzino we already went over that. <laughs> if you're ever in need of an example of a hip hop prodigy performing a lyrical destruction on one of his enemies, Nail in the Coffin should meet your needs. Damn. In 2003, back when magazines were still important in building and guarding artists' image and reputation, Eminem was in full beef mode with the source and its co owner Ray Benzino Scott. Scott came out of nowhere with an Eminem diss track, and the magazine followed suit on the editorial side, regularly roasting Eminem in articles and reviews. In the midst of all this, several monster diss tracks sprung out of Eminem's beef with Benzino including Nail in the Coffin and the Sauce. We gotta get the sauce, Benzino's man! Benzino's did is to come at Eminem, but his efforts were just nowhere near the hurling pride wounding taunts he received from Eminem. Eminem slammed the source for their lack of credibility and mocked Benzino's dismal hip-hop career. Mm. If you're that much of a gangsta, put the mic down, you should be out killing mother effers right now, sneers <laughs> Eminem Nail in the Coffin. The source's reputation was further tarnished oh, and Benzino snap. would eventually opt out the source magazine and wind up on Love and Hip Hop. <laughs> My man opted out and went on reality TV. That's tough. That's tough. I was never claimed to be no Ray Benzino, an 83 year old Faye Pacino. <laughs> so how can he hold me over some balcony without throwing his lower back out as soon as he goes? <laughs> Please don't, you'll probably fall with me And Ooh. that's the boat be history Ooh. Then again, you finally get your wish Cause yeah. you'll be all over the street Like that 50 cents shit. Ooh. Number 3 the bo Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh Uh oh Oh shit, yo Hey, you come on the bottom now Oh, we on your ass again, John Roof Oh, snap Revenge and go to sleep John Rule disses <laughs> Eminem and Ja Rule oh, had a nasty bit of back and forth in the early 2000s. A spin-off of the well-documented heat between 50 Cent and the Murder Inc. MC that literally ended Ja Rule's career and mm. created problems for his record label and associates like Ashanti and Irv Gotti. That's tough. The worst of all is that M's beef with Ja was completely unprovoked. Following 50 Cent's signing with Shady Aftermath, Ja Rule, out of too much confidence from being one of the hottest rappers at the time, sent a warning to Eminem and Dr. Dre on live radio to check 50 Cent against releasing any more diss tracks against him and Murder Inc. Mm. This was preceded by several Eminem disses which, for the most part, were ignored. Hey, That nigga... <laughs> bro, that nigga Ja Rule was big as shit, low-key! My man was cock diesel, hold However, on! However, mentioning Haley Mathers, Eminem's daughter, on one of his diss tracks was probably one of the biggest career mistakes Ja Rule ever made. Mm. This pretty much disqualified Ja Rule from receiving any mercy from what followed. Eminem went on a relentless streak of trashing Ja Rule and Murder Inc. and several impossible to match diss track riddles with the signature hard crafted bars and comical clowning he is known for. M's disses also included guest appearances from the likes of 50 Cent, DMX and Busta Rhymes, rappers who found themselves dragged into the beef mostly by Ja Rule's ego. Mm. You ain't no killer, you a pussy. At ecstasy done got you all emotional and mushy. No, I can't, I can't listen to it. I can't listen to that yet. Y'all told me I gotta get to the sauce and hell Mary. I ain't want, I, I listen to what he got on the video. Though. Bitches wearing rags and photos. Josh words being quoted in the source. Still in pop shit like he just wrote it. You <laughs> loud mouths for the guard open. No one's listening. She's 50 coming for me. Oh my God, my, my position. Oh my, my God. Please got it. I go, give me this pill, ecstasy done got me feeling so It's mm. a boom, now all of a sudden I'm a fucking madman Who screams like I'm Pac, but I'm not Enemies, in the city, acting like I'm great, but I'm fake, I'm crazy That, oh Number man, two. we gotta get to that one A cannabis diss Cannabis is not only a prolific lyricist, but is also no stranger to high-profile beefs His run-ins with the legendary LL Cool J Is one of hip-hop's most dramatic beefs 
The second round oh. came rapper also had a distaste for Eminem dating back to the late 90s. The start of the bad blood between the two legends dates back before Eminem was signed and gained mainstream success. Cannabis allegedly accused Eminem of ghostwriting LL Cool J's diss tracks towards him. Mm. Even though Eminem openly denied doing so, it didn't stop Cannabis from putting up disrespectful behavior and eventually releasing several disses at Eminem. We got a tent now or not, bro. lyrical barbs for a few years and full-on diss tracks would later find their way into the mix including 100 bars by Cannabis, Without Me by Eminem, F You by Cannabis and Just Don't Give an F by Eminem. On the Straight from the Lab mixtape, Eminem picked apart Cannabis with a song titled Can I Bitch. Hey, we got a tent now. With an homage to Slick Rick's children's story. This track has a downright giddy tone in the way it cuts its subject, clowning cannabis in the most degrading way. Now once upon a time not long ago, there was a little rapper about to blow. But his album came, and it was not good. I think it went better than a pop of wood. So the silly little fans, they were misled by a nerdy internet computer hip-hop head. Me and you, Clef, we're gonna make some cash. Grab the silver paint and let's paint my ass. Ooh. Number one, cleaning out my closet. A Debbie Mathers diss. It's one thing to diss a fellow rapper, but dedicating an entire track to making disrespectful allusions to one's own mother is an elite of its own, and Eminem did just that. Eminem and his mother have an Bro. Now y'all know that's true! Hold up! Eminem, bro. Y'all know Eminem don't give a F about y'all if he diss his own. I ain't know he actually made a song. I thought he just like was speaking on it like a made, made an announcement publicly or something. A PSA or something. I ain't know he actually made it. Bro, we got a lot to bro, I got a lot to catch up on, bro. Always gotten along. The rocky relationship between him and his parents has always popped up in the mega selling MC's songs. However, the track Cleaning Out My Closet, the Shady Records boss decided to be extremely salty in addressing the history and relationship with his parents. Mm. From deadbeat father to drug addicted mother. Eminem laid waste to his parents, cursing even their memories and wishing them dead. Mm. He was particularly unforgiving in the way he brought the spotlight on sour feelings he had towards his mother. The music video took the disrespect even further with graphic disturbing images of Eminem digging a grave and cursing his mother. Even though in the last verse of the song, M claimed the record was not directly aimed at his mother, it's hard to not link the two, given the rocky relationship with Ma. <laughs> Another notable mention is the shocking 2017 BET Cypher freestyle in yes, which the Detroit sir. rapper bravely trashed U.S. President Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Better give Obama props, cause what we got in office now's a kamikaze that'll probably cause a nuclear holocaust. And while the drama pops and he waits for shit to quiet down, he'll just gas his plane up and fly around till the bombing stops. Mm. Intensity's heightened, tensions are rising. Trump, when it comes to giving a shit, you're stingy as I am. Mm. Except when it comes to having the balls to go. Bro. Trump, when it comes to giving a shit, giving a shit, you're stingy as I am. Bro, that's tough. Bro, that triple meaning bar, oh my god. I reacted to this, but I, I wasn't really on the biology like that back then. Go against me, you hide them. Because you don't got the nuts like an empty asylum. Mm. All these and many more diss oh tracks make him one of the scariest rappers to ever diss. How do you diss a living legend who not only has the lyrical and comical tools to destroy other legends, but is also psycho enough to care less about dissing himself and his parents? You can't! Not to mention his you can't impressive beat list that. of loyal protégés like 50 Cent. Arby Trice, and Bizarre who would jump on your neck for the slightest disrespectful mention of Eminem on your record. Yes sir! I guess you don't, and rappers get the message. Even beef mongers like Rapper Game have vowed never to go at Eminem for whatever reason. It's so sad that the likes of Ja Rule, Benzina, <laughs> and Insane Clown Posse got the memo late. Thanks got it for late! Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Do you agree with the list? Which other records should feature here? Please subscribe to our channel and check out these other cool videos we know you would love. Alright man, that's tough. That's tough. Hey. We cover we cover some of those uh some of those songs he mentioned in the uh in the video. But it's a lot I gotta catch up with. I gotta react to when he was dissing his mom. I gotta react to that. I gotta react to the cannabis, cannabis. I gotta react to that. I gotta react, bro, it's a lot. 
it's a lot I gotta catch up on. I gotta do the source. And it, it was a, it was another one y'all told me to do. Oh yeah, Hail Mary. I gotta I gotta do Hail Mary. But hey, yo, long as y'all keep dropping these videos down below, we gon we we gonna keep doing it, man. I got this MGK Breakfast Club interview about to drop for y'all, man. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's get it.